No, we were out there talking a little bit about aviation. I want to get a little bit more into it because I know that we asked you, you know, the moment that you kind of fell in love with it, but is there, what in particular, like, just draws you to it? Because don't, I mean, you have to have kind of a certain personality, don't you, to, to want to fly fighter jets, that, that sort of thing. Absolutely. What drew you to it? Um, so I wouldn't classify myself as necessarily a thrill seeker, but, uh, you know, uh, there's just so much about airplanes and just flying in general that fascinates me. Um, one of the things I've always loved doing uh, growing up with my family is hiking. Uh, you know, you get up on top of these mountains and you get such incredible views. Uh, and then I started flying uh, and I really haven't seen a better view since. Uh, you get up there in the clouds, you see the way the sun uh, refracts off the water in the clouds. Um, you can look down, you can see Ann Arbor, you can see the big house, uh, you can see all the different places that you've been. Uh, you can go to anywhere that you want to go. You can just hop on the plane, uh, get going, go visit your girlfriend, uh, go visit your family. Uh, I was fortunate enough I got the chance to uh, take a cross-country trip oh, down uh, to Finley, uh, fly into the Finley Airport. Uh, and I actually saw something I'd never seen before. Uh, from the ground, you know, I'd driven through Finley as a kid a million times. I never saw the the giant quarry filled with water right next to the edge of the runway. Uh, so that was pretty cool flying in. Uh, ended up flying. Uh, next pit stop was into Mount Victory uh, at a small little grass strip near my house. Um, my folks were waiting right at the end of the runway with big big mason jar of chocolate milk. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the best memories I have of flying, uh, seeing them there at the end of the runway, you know, cheering for me, uh, seeing, uh, get, getting them to see, see me doing something that I love uh, and succeeding. Um, so there's, there's just so much about flying that, you know, has really, really been fulfilling and really made me happy. Is there something like <clears throat> being in the air is it kind of like almost maybe like a therapeutic factor because I mean you see the world from a totally different view like you mentioned and I mean just you know whether it's you know you're flying over middle America and you're seeing the grid you know of like the cornfields or wherever you for are sure. does that is that like that for you for sure um, you know as a, as a pilot you're doing something all the time uh, you're always checking and rechecking making sure you're not lost um, looking for landmarks, uh, talking to somebody on the radio, um, making sure your, your heading's right, making sure your airspeed's right, uh, checking the weather, making sure you're not running into anything, making sure the, the wind's not picking up or dying down. Uh, you're always checking something, but you do get these small moments every now and then to just look out, uh, look out the window. I really appreciate what you're doing. Uh, and it's those, those small moments every now and then that really make flying special. Uh, and they really make you appreciate getting to be up there. Do you kind of, I mean, totally different things, but I mean, do, does that whole constantly doing, does, can you kind of apply that analogy? Does it, does it hold true in football? Because I mean, as a linebacker, I mean, you're constantly adjusting things. Maybe you're not checking your airspeed, but you're, you're checking up, you know, you're checking uh, receivers, you're just check. You know what I mean. I mean, you're you're always analyzing something. Is there Absolutely. anything similar to that? Absolutely. You know, you're out there, uh, especially with you know these hurry up offenses. Uh, you're always running around. You're always doing something. You're looking for the call. You're looking at the defense. Uh, you know, the tight ends doing something. The running backs doing something. You got to check off of that. Uh, you got to make sure everybody's in the right spot. You got to help your guys out. Uh, there's always something to do, and then the ball snaps, and then it's just chaos for six seconds, uh, and then you do it all again. So, uh, yeah, I, I would say it's very similar. A couple more questions uh, for you, Noah. You mentioned just the wanting wanting to go in the Marines and, and your admiration, you know, for uh, men and women in uniform, protect the country. I mean, not obviously today being September 11th, is it, is, is it personal to you? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think it's something that makes this country great is we always have people um, that volunteer for this. We have a completely volunteer force, uh, complete volunteer service, and I think that's something special. 
about America and says something about you know the men and women in service and the men and women of this country. Um, and you know, I I do look up to those guys. Uh, you know, I see those fatigues. I see those those people in uniform, and uh, it it means something to me. That's very special. You mentioned your grandfather, your your mother, a nurse in the Air Force. What yep. what was your grandfather's position? Um, he, he was a technician. I'm not 100% sure on his job. Do you know where? Did like he, what, he was, during what time he served? Yeah, he was stationed in Germany. Uh, believe near the end of World War II. Okay. I appreciate your time today, Noah. Yeah, Thank thanks you. so much.